Hello everyone and welcome back to Queen Variety's channel. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to cook a very rich and delicious yet healthy Cameroonian Ndole sauce recipe. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay updated. Thank you. So guys, to begin this recipe appropriately, I'm going to start by popping my granuts into the blender. And as you can see, this granut is a fresh granut. It has not been cooked, neither has it been roasted. Here I have already blended granut, and this granut comes along with the bark. As you can see, you can see some of the peels of the granut inside this mixture and it has been roughly blended so since um, this quantity is not enough for me i'm going to add some of this blended granite here is my cube and here are some garlics ginger and two combinations of onions together with my scotch bonnet peppers i'm going to combine all these ingredients into the blender and then blend them all together before we begin the recipe appropriately yeah. after adding all the ingredients into a blender i'm going to pour in some quantity of water to enable the blending process to go easily So guys, I will close my blender and then transfer it to blend. At this stage guys, I'm done with blending my granuts and right now I've poured them right into the pot as you can see it's cooking. Now I'm going to pour the last segment of the granuts, the water I used to rinse the blender into the pot. I'm going to boil this granite between 40 to 45 minutes to make sure that this granite is properly cooked. Remember that earlier on I showed you some quantity of dried granites which I was going to add into the pot. After blending the granite, I noticed that this granite quantity is going to be enough for me so I'm not going to add more quantity to, to this because this recipe requires that the ratio of your vegetable that is in dole and your granut should be equal so that you don't have too whitish kind of um, recipe. So I'm going to stir this mixture appropriately to make sure it combines effectively. Guys, I had to cover my pot because as you can see, I'm having a lot of splashes and it's going to mess up my kitchen surface. All I have here is just my water and my stockfish. No spices, no salt at all. In fact, this stockfish contains some salt content. So you have to be very careful when you're applying salt to this recipe. So, so far so good. I've been boiling this for about 20 minutes now. Actually guys, today is my very first time of making this recipe and I'm super, super excited. During the Christmas 2018, my husband took me to his friend's house <laughs> and guess what guys, coincidentally, his friend's wife prepared this recipe. I want to specially dedicate this recipe to my special friend Harriet because today I am making her recipe, though I'm adding a little twist to it. So here you can see my Cameroonian Ndole. This is the star of the dish, this ndole and the granules. These two ingredients are the star of the dish. So here you must make sure that if you want to prepare this recipe that the bitter leaf you'll be using must be this ndole. Ndole is not bitter. So that is why it's very unique for this recipe. And trust me guys, it's going to be fantastic. So I'm actually going to use about um, three packs of this um, ndole is frozen so i have soaked it into this cold water to make sure that it defreezes as you 
you can see guys it looks a little bit watery that is because um, i added some little hot water while the cooking process was taking place so that um, this will cook appropriately so i'll still continue cooking guys what you can see boiling on fire is my shake. So I'm boiling it for about 15 minutes to eliminate all those um, yama yama that comes um, with it. So if I should open the pot right now for you to see, you can notice some whitish substances that are around the surface of um, the shake. Usually this European shake always comes with some of these um, things. So I'm boiling it for 15 minutes so that I will eliminate that um, water. As you can see right now guys, I have already rinsed out the liquid out of the shake. So right now I'm going to add some spices into the meat to boost the flavors of the meats. I'm using the beef that has what we call the tozo. It has this unique taste that comes with it. This is not fat guys. I'll just toss in some little onions, some two nut cubes, a small pinch of black pepper, oregano 5 ml of um, thyme i will toss in some small pinch of spicy dry pepper this pepper is very spicy some salt to taste guys so guys mix it appropriately and then cover the pot to cook you will gradually notice that the beef will release some moisture that comes along with it while you wash it into the pot so you don't actually need water while steaming your beef and remember that the shake has already been steamed for some time i don't want it too soft so i'm going to cook this down for about 15 minutes so guys can you see the quantity of water that the beef has relieved by itself this is why I recommend that you do not add water while steaming your beef because usually because you washed your beef it comes with some moisture with it so all you have to do is just to place your beef on fire and then spice it up and that's it I have been cooking this granite for about 45 minutes to 1 hour so at this stage I want to show you the consistency as you can see the granite is perfectly cooked at this stage and so this consistency is perfect i hope you guys can see a close shot of this yes this is what i'm talking about so i'm going to transfer this granite into a plate and then wash out this pot so that we can prepare this ndole recipe in a special way 15 minutes after cooking the meat the beef is properly cooked so right now I'm going to go into the next step. So guys, we are actually in the last segment of combining all ingredients to make our Cameroonian ndole a perfect recipe. There are two main ways of making this recipe. The first method is the frying method. But unfortunately, I'm not going to use the frying method. Rather, I'm going to use a healthier option. <clears throat> For the healthier version, guys, what I'm going to do is to assemble all my ingredients together without doing the frying process. So first, I'm going to start by pouring in my... <laughs> Sorry, guys. Remember the stock fish I cooked earlier on for about 35 to 45 minutes? Yes, that is what I just poured into the pot right now. I'm going to cover the pot for this stock fish to start boiling before I start the next process. So now I'm going to pour the beef stock inside it so I just poured in my beef inside the pot I'm rinsing the beef pot with some little quantity of water guys remember that all ingredients for this recipe has been cooked down appropriately so I'm just going to combine everything and then bring down the pot so while I have that there I'm going to pour the granules the cooked granules step by step into the pot and mix everything appropriately 
uh, for this sauce you don't need too much quantity of water inside it so you have to watch out for that yes the aroma is so golden guys oh. So guys, as you can see, this consistency is perfect. Yes, it's perfect. Right now, I have all my granules inside the pot. I'm tasting for salt, guys. It's perfect. And guys, if you have um, crayfish or dry fish, you can also add it to this recipe. But right now, as I'm making it, I don't have it available. So what I'm going to do is to toss in a little cube to boost the flavor a little bit. So I'm breaking in one cube into the pot. So at this stage, what I will do is to add my indole into the pot and then mix along as I do that. You have to make sure you combine the pot appropriately. That way you will be able to know the quantity of the ndole you should incorporate into the pot. So as you can see, my pot is still whitish in nature. So I'm still going to add more ndole into the pot. So you continue adding more ndole until you have a greenish consistency. So guys, I still have a little whitish appearance, so I'm going to still add more ndole into the pot. Remember, I showed you three parts earlier on, so I'm using virtually all the three parts. And guys, remember that my heat is exactly at the very low heat or the lowest heat. So guys, I'm going to pour in my vegetable oil into the pot so that this will cook alongside with the vegetables. Actually, the Cameroonians use a lot of oil for this sauce. So I'm going to pour in oil as much as possible. So guys, I'm going to cover the pot right now to allow this recipe to properly cook. Remember, I have my heat turned down to number 4, that is low heat. So I'm going to allow this to gradually cook until you gradually notice oil surfacing around this recipe. 10 to 15 minutes later, after properly cooking the recipe, you notice that the recipe is perfectly ready. So all you have to do right now is to stir the pot properly and then serve it hot. Thank you so much for joining me in today's episode. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay updated. Thank you.